Tech's Tech's Kate here with you guys today. And I'm showing you guys something a little bit different. Stepped away from doing gun reviews for a minute to show you guys something that's real interesting. This is called the Game Changer Range Brass Sorter. This machine is perfect for your match director, your big time reloader, your private range guy, your two gunners, your three gunners, your USPSA guys, because it will sort it all. There is 10 different trommel options here that you can choose from, including the one you see here, which will separate 380, 9mm, 40, and then out the end, we'll throw anything larger like your 45. But he also offers a 380 to 9, a 40 to 45, 223 to 380, 45 to 308, and then some. One that's really interesting is he actually has one that will remove corn cob from your tumbling media. The interchangeable trommel options come in at 325 shipped to your door. As a whole, comes in at around 1400 shipped. You can also opt for a three gallon hopper to be added onto here instead of the chute that you see here. That will run around $700 but it is still not a walk away and forget option, but it will allow you to mitigate how much less you're going to be dumping into the shoe. But as you're seeing here, this is the R&D model. This is the original R&D model. Now my friend Wally came up with this. This is solely his idea. Anybody who gets a model that is currently out now, Wally has vowed to send the upgraded parts as development continues. So if you didn't want to wait and you wanted to try one out, you can do that and Wally will take care of you. You can contact Wally at boriinc at hotmail.com. These will be sold on his website, reloadingsystems.com. Also catch him on Facebook at Game Changer Range Brass Sorter. All links will be in the bio. So let's check it out. So what I got here is this nice little fancy expensive, you know, dollar store measuring cup, but it is full of 380 9 millimeter, 40 cal and 45. There might even be a 223 or something snuck in here as well, but let's see. Again, this trommel will sort through all of them. So I'm gonna dump this through, show you guys sort of how it operates. It is brass fed, so you wanna keep letting the brass feed itself, but at the same time, you're not trying to overflow it where it's backing itself out. A nice steady pace will win the race here. So let's put some brass through it. There was minimal to no discrepancy between the screen here. I found it hit about 99%, not, I'd say 99.8% accuracy. Running this mix of brass, I have seen the same result over and over again. Again, this is perfect for your USPSA competition shooter. You're picking up maybe with a roller at the range and you want to make sure it gets all siphoned out here. Get your 22 drop into the beginning with the 380 anyway. And most of us have no use for either of those as far as reloading goes. Those are usually scrap brass pieces anyways. That would be separating your unwanted 380 from ending up in your 9mm. None of us like seeing a random 380 end up in our competition loads. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one more test here. And I'm going to throw some 223 in here with some 9mm. So let's see how that works out. Because I know a lot of your 2 and 3 gun guys, that's going to be the majority of what you may pick up on your home range, on your private range, or just when you're practicing in general. will allow you to much more quickly separate that 9 from your rifle ammo. So let's try. All right, so as you can see, there you got some nine, a whole bunch of nine, and a whole bunch of two, two, three in here. Let's see how she shakes out. So as you'll see here, the two, two, three is going to fall right through the 380 slots. Your nine millimeter won't fit through there, so it's going to ditch off to the right and fall either in the red or the yellow bins. The skinny bin in the blue in the middle here, you'll see one or two, which is where your discrepancy will fall in, but it'll separate it very, very well. You could put a couple thousand rounds through here and you'd be happy. One thing I do want to point out is ignore this. 
as well. There will be a black rubber cap that goes here on any shipped out orders to the public. Again, this is an R&D unit. I just want a little bit of backing here. So we threw some tape on it in the meantime. It worked for the video. So that is the game changer. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I will be doing more updates on these machines as they come, as well as with its development. So stay tuned.